Hi and welcome to my Blender tutorial, where I'm going to show you how to make a real pattern inside of Blender. Uh, first of all, I found this pattern on the internet. You have four different um, car threads or car patterns. Uh, I'm going to make this one to the left, which is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Uh, but the principle is the same for the rest of those. So let's start our Blender. Just delete the standard cube and go go down to view background image and choose your background image which was the wheel okay so now add a plane go into edit mode and delete these three vertices so we only have the we only have um, this vertex now go out of edit mode and uh, add the mirror modifier which we have here. So now you can see we have go into edit mode again, enable uh, this uh, icon over here, or radio button. You can see we have two vertices now this one and the mirrored one. So let's <coughs> let's move this uh, object over here to where we need it. Around here, let's zoom in a bit. Go into edit mode, just move this one a bit. Go out of edit mode and just move the object a bit. It's around here. Okay, so now it should be perfectly mirrored. Uh, take this vertex and move it over here. Start extruding by clicking E to extrude. Here, 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 and here. As you can see now, it it should uh, stop at the middle, but it doesn't. So just put it around here and enable do clipping down here on the modifier. So now when we take our vertex again and move it, you can see it stops in the middle. To move it more precise, you can cl click the X button and then it moves only on the X axis. Okay. Um we want to extrude down here on the y axis. Actually let's um let's start by selecting these vertices here and um extrude them on the y axis here, extrude again on the y axis to here click C so we can see through it and uh, we want to choose this and this click W and click Bevel so now we can make a cut here also we want to do the same here and here We can move these a bit here. Also, we want to do it here. Actually, let's um, instead let's click Control R and left mouse button and just move it to around here. Okay. Let's do Control R here also. Choose these outer ones and move them out to here. Okay. So now we have the main track. What we want to do now is to make some extrusion. So go into face mode, choose this, 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 these ones, and this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's rotate a bit and extrude region, yes. And uh, yeah, let's just move it around here. Perfect. Go to top view again. Go into vertex mode and choose these. Uh, choose um, B to box select and choose these outer ones. Go to front view and uh, move these ones down to grab. Move them down on the C axis like this. Okay. Actually, let's move them up a bit. Make another extrusion. 
on the C axis again like this click on S key to scale C to do it on the C axis and click 0 and left mouse click so now they have uh, perfectly aligned here okay what's next um, of course you can do a lot of cleaning up but this is just going to be a fast tutorial so go to top view again and let's just uh, apply this let's just apply this modifier we don't need it anymore not in this example so add an empty oh the empty coming over, over here uh, we need to move our cursor first so our cursor is over here we want it here so uh, click shift s and choose cursor to selection okay now we have it here so now we add our empty and down in the properties cover the name go back to your object add the arrow modifier here as you can see now it's been mirrored but that's because this one is chosen and we don't want this instead we want object offset paste in your empty name here so what happens is that when we choose our empty and move it down let's, let's choose our empty move it down on the y-axis you can see it's been duplicated like this so go back to your object and uh, let's make a lot of duplicates let's make 80 so now we have a lot of a lot of duplicates choose the apply button here go into edit mode and choose all vertices by clicking double double clicking a choose w and say remove any duplicates or uh, duplets you can see there was 320 here So now this is what we have. Go into side perspective and uh, go into edit mode again actually. Click Shift S and say cursor to selection. So now our cursor is here. Click uh, G key to move all these vertices and on the C axis. Let's just move it to around here maybe. And what the, the final thing we need to do is click Shift w and you can see now we can choose how how much the, the wheels have spin around normally it should be 360 but depending on how accurate you made your modeling this can vary so if you do look down in if you look over here you can see the numbers which are changing and around here it fits nice so 362 degrees again um, W remove any duplicates there was no so now we have our wheel which was uh, pretty easy to to make I think afterwards you can always make a rim or you can put a subsurface modifier on or whatever but this is the main principle so thank you for watching